ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Stickhead Plays. My name's Stickhead, this is Manumit, and today we are playing World of Warcraft, continuing with our Let's Play of this Pandaren Monk um, walkthrough Let's Play thing. <laughs> Whatever it is. Anyway, what we've we done so far? Well, we've levelled up quite a few times. We are now level four. We've learned a couple of new moves. We've uh, just recently uh, learned Roll, uh, and we've been on this quest to resurrect this, um, what is he, a fire spirit, I think. Huo the fire spirit, uh, and which we've managed to do successfully by using dog root kindling and wafting his flames with some wind. Um, and anyway, now I've got to take him up to the Temple of Five Dawns uh, to Shangxi, and we'll find out what's going to happen next. I still don't really know why we need a fire spirit, but uh, perhaps we will find out in this episode. Come on, Huo, come with me. Here we are, here's the temple. Oh, look at this cool, ornate, traditional Chinese archway. Very, very nice. Discovered Temple of Five Dawns. Here we are. All right, onward. Welcome, Hyo. The people have missed your warmth. <laughs> oh, he's gone into the lantern. Very cool. Which is now glowing. All right, let's see what Shang Si. Forget injuries. Manumit, you've done very well. Whoa, the spirit of fire is here. The temple flames are reignited. You accomplished the challenge I put before you, and with seeming ease. There is a greater purpose in bringing Huo to the temple. It is time that I tell you more of things to come. Okay. You have conquered every challenge I put before you. Yes. You have found Huo and brought Hyo. him safely to the temple. I'm learning. Learning how to say his name. There is a much larger problem we face now, my students. Shen Zin Su is in pain. If we do not act, the very land on which we stand could die, and all of us with it. Oh, we buddy. need to speak to Shen Zin Su and discover how to heal it. And to do that, we need the four elemental spirits returned. Hyo was the first. Gosh. Okay. I would like you to go to the Dilo farmstead in search of Wu Gao, the spirit of Earth. Yeah, did you? It. Asa, I, like his style. I want you to go to the singing pools to find Shu, the spirit of water. Yes, Master. Nice one. And you, you shall be the hand that guides us all. Speak okay. with me for a moment before you join Asa at the singing pools to the east. All right, well that only accounts for three of the elemental spirits. Okay, but yeah, whatever you say, Master Shangxi. Maybe counting wasn't your forte. <laughs> all right, let's see what we have to do it next. It is good to see you, my It's spirit. crucial that we bring all of the three remaining spirits back safely. I'm too old to do this myself, and for all their strengths, both Isa and Ji are single-minded in their ideals. You possess all the qualities of a hero, I, I tend to agree, and a balance that they do not. It is you that must do this. Shu, the spirit of water, is somewhere in the singing pools to the east. Find Isa there and work with her to locate him. We're all depending on you. Okay. So I've got to go and help Isa sort out the elemental spirit of water. Let's go. Uh, now we look on the mini-map, it's telling me to go this way. And we can see she's down here, next to those pools of water, which makes a lot of sense. They're called the Singing Pools. I don't know why they're called that. Let's go and find out. Hey there, are you the one that brought back the fire spirit? Yes. Yeah. Of course he was hot. Don't be dumb, Deng. These little pandas look a bit freaky, don't they? <laughs> I bet you're really strong, huh? You could probably kick that bridge right in half if you wanted to. 
<laughs> Indeed. Nuh uh. Bet they could for sure kick you over that hill though. <laughs> Can I do a kick him out? Nope. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> that was cool. What's this up here? A copper vein. Requires mining. Well, I don't have that skill. I've not seen yet somewhere to use, um, to learn the skill either. Maybe I missed something on the way. Hmm. I might need to go back and make sure. Okay, we're at the singing pools. Oh, check it out. I do like waterfalls. Have a look at these. <laughs> Training on these, what are these called? A balance pole. Very cool. All right, onward. The music in this, I'm not sure how well you can hear the music, whether I've got the balance right or not. But, oh, here's a profession trainer. Hello. Hi. Yes, tell me about gathering professions. Train me in mining, yes, please. Because I've just seen a mining node. What else should we have? Goodbye. Uh, let's have skinning as well. That's always a good way to make money, isn't it? For those people making leather armor, buying your stuff from you. Uh, so, I'm guessing I need a pickaxe to mine this thing. Enough of that. Oh, I can't be bothered to go all the way up there to find out I can't mine it because I haven't got a pickaxe. Jojo Ironbrow. Nice name, bruv. Mm -hmm. Gather me reeds from the nearby pools. Do not question why. Do, and then observe the results. Okay. Until next time. Uh, he's a bit of a bossy boots, isn't he? Oh, there's one. Oh, hello. <laughs> I seem to have turned into a frog. I can still gather reeds though, that's fine. There's obviously something quite magical about these. Whoa, no, 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 no. Can I attack? I cannot do this. Not enough energy. Yep, <laughs> I can still attack as a toad. Excellent. I've gone from Kung Fu Panda to Kung Fu Toad. Amazing. Oh, I need a lot of these. Eight of these. Only one in each uh, plant. I'd be able to do this quicker if the cranes didn't insist on uh, treating me as a nut. Take that. Maybe this is why he uh, wanted me to go and get these. What are they? Reeds. So I could learn the way of the toad. Kung Fu Masters are always a bit like that, aren't they? Working in mysterious ways. Alright, there we go. That should be all the reeds I need. Oh, I'm back. Let's see if we can avoid... <laughs> toad again. Look at the turtle. How cool is he? Very, very cute. Okay, onward. Toad does seem pretty quick. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Speak up. Telling you my strength means nothing. I must show you. Good. No number of reeds has ever withstood my might. Step back and let me dispel your doubts. White tiger, watch over you. No. Oh. The reeds of the singing pools are the hardest in all of the land. <laughs> Nicely done. Did he do that with his head? Many have tested, what did he say? Many have tested my claim and I yet stand proven. Yeah, he did that with his head. Look, it says down in the chat box, they are as air before my mighty brow. <laughs> I've, got to, I've got to applaud that. That's incredible. <laughs> All right, onward. Oh, over here. Ah, oh, there's Isa, look. Is it frog time again? No, what am I now? Am I a, I'm a skunk. Brilliant. <laughs> oh dear. I must say the water effects in WoW 
Oh, really cool. Right. Hello, friend. Isa. It's good to see you again, Manumit. This is the pool of the skunk, as I'm sure you know. I did notice that, yeah. Over the many ages of Shenzhen Zhu. Oh, I was going to say, actually, Shenzhen Zhu is the name of the giant turtle that this island sits atop. Um, and yeah, we heard in that bump before this little crest line that he's in pain. So we've got to sort him out. Right, so through their deaths, their spirits were infused into the waters, and anyone touching those waters will take their form. There are several cursed pools here, some more dangerous than others. Mm. We'll watch out for these pools then. Through meditation, I intend to find a route to locating Shu. In the meantime, you would benefit from practice and discipline. Your first task is to task. <laughs> Your first task is the task of all trainees entering the pools. Cross the balance poles to the west and ring the bell without falling into the pool. Should you fall, the pool's curse will make it difficult to get on a pole again. So you will need to return to the edge of the pool to start over. And beware the crane. Yes, I've met the crane. Is the highest virtue. Shu is precious to us. We need to find him. But his tense is human child, so we must not scare him in our approach. Right. I require peace to perform my meditation. I've got a... Alright, so balance on the poles and defeat some monks. That I can do. Ring the training bell. The training bell's over this side. I think there is a white dot, um, a yellow dot on the minimap in the top right corner. Can you see that? Indicating the bell. So let's go and do that, shall we? Nice. And now I can get this guy is shooing. Oh, more accurately. <laughs> Turned you into a frog. Alright, that was easy enough. Let's go and defeat some more monks. I need to get closer. Guess what, bruv? You're next. How many enemies defeat? Six. Can I, I am you? out of range. No. Get a bit closer. Any more? I can't reach over there. But now I can. Oh look, both of you at once. I need a target. Oh, he's um, not letting me attack him. Oh, that's because I've done six already. Right. Can I jump off now? No? How do I get off the pole? I got on one easily enough. Oh, here. Leave a vehicle. <laughs> no, that's not a vehicle. Okay, so that quest is completed. Let's go and uh, turn into a skunk again. <laughs> It's good to see you. Shh, oh yeah, I read that already. The lesson of dry fur. Good, you're a quick step. Discipline and practice lead us to our full And potential. now we're level six. Once again, did not receive a new skill. Okay. So what next? Finding an old friend. It seems Shu, the spirit of water, had a play companion when he came to the pools throughout the years. An old Pandaren we know as Old Man Lang. Is that Liang? Liang? Liang moved away from the main town and stopped practicing in the pools some time ago and told he lives in a small house northeast of here up the hill. Liang may know what has driven Shu away and, and where the spirit might be found. Alright, so let's find this Liang then. Normally might be difficult to find, but uh, thanks to Quest Tracker, <laughs> it is not difficult. Up these stairs, it would seem. Ah, oh, I was hoping to be turned into another animal. Nope, not for this pool. All right, let's start using this roll to cover some more distance. It's going to be a nice bit. Oh, here we go. My first copper vein that I can actually mine. 
Oh, I was worried that I didn't have a mining pick, but it doesn't seem to matter. I can mine it with my bare hands. Here he is. All right, chap. What wisdom do you seek? This is a rare up here, but you are welcome. It is nice to meet you, young monk. Slow down. Age has caught up with me, it seems. I can't like move as I once could. And so I have little left to offer my once friend. You'd be surprised, mate. Come on, let's have a go. Shu, the spirit of water, is eternally young, as are all spirits of Shen Sin Su. I have been friends with Shu all of my life, but I no longer have it within me to play with him. I am old and lack the energy. For all his complexities, Shu is simple to please. He desires friendship. When I return to play with Shu each season, I would always bring a sun pearl as a gift. Uh, I can see where this is going. <laughs> you can find a sun pearl in the pools to the southeast. Okay. Perhaps you can be his new friend. Family. I'd like to be a water spirit's friend. Ooh. That'd be nice. These are what matter most. All right, the sting of learning. There are dangers in the pools. The latest and most vicious are the water pincers. The time has come for their numbers to be diminished, and I am no longer up to the task. All right, so we need to May you find reduce the number of your water pincers. I guess those, that's an, another word for crab, I'm guessing. Oh, I see you. No, they don't look like crabs. They look like, um, what are they called? Pond water skaters? Pond skaters? Yeah, something. I tell you what, though, it reminds me of um, Mario 64. Do you remember those enemies in Mario 64? Maybe. Okay. Can sit to these. Shouldn't take too long. Shattered exoskeleton fragments. Already mm. useful. I was about to use a move on it and get around to it. I do not have a target. These are killing over rather quickly. What was the other thing I needed to do? Find a sun pearl. Uh, excuse me, water pincers. Do you happen to know where I'm going? a sun pearl? I need to target something first. Alright, that's enough of these. Now if we look on the minimap in the top right. It's suggesting the Sun Pearl is around here somewhere. Let's have a look at that then. Oh, there's something glowing in the water down here. Ancient Clam. That would seem to be... What on earth is this? Fang Shi. Oh my word. Okay. I guess we need to defeat Fang Shi first. <laughs> That wasn't too difficult, was it? Alright, let's see. Is the sun pearl in here? It is. Fantastic. Can I roll in the water? I can. <laughs> A water roll. Amazing. Look at how the water refracts the light from above the surface. That is so cool. Very cool. And again, yeah, I was, look, I was talking about the, the water effects earlier. Check out how it... Uh, ripples in my footsteps. Very nice. WoW is often criticised for being old and the graphics being a bit old, but I still think it looks of your travels. It's all in the design, isn't it, rather than the uh, technology. Or a bit of both, maybe. Age has caught up with me, it seems. Yes, you've said that already. The decision to not return to the pools was a hard one. I don't think Shu ever truly understood. He does not know what it is to get older and weaker. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Sun Pearl. Shu's desires are not so different from our own. He doesn't want to be alone, unwanted and loved. He longs to be needed and to share his life with others. Knowing that, earning his trust is not terribly difficult. He just wants company. May the Red Crane live forever. And yes, that's your the Sun Pincer one. Right, what's next? Shu, the spirit of water, is sulking in the deep pool to the north. Cross the rocks and then drop the Sun Pearl in the centre of the pool. He will know what this means. Coax Shu, the spirit of water, into a game. <laughs> Very cool. Well, I'm afraid that will have to wait. Excuse me. That will have to wait because it is time for us to say goodbye for this episode to Manumit and our Pandaran friends. And thank you ever so much for watching. We will see you again for the next episode. Bye bye.